Hey guys, so recently we asked you to send us your questions about the new foundry collection, specifically the Obsidian Foundry and the Corrugate Foundry. And we're just gonna take a few moments here to run through a list of the most common questions we were asked and give you guys a better feel for which pant may be right for you and your, your hunting needs this season. These are the actual pairs of pants that I personally used all throughout the 2020 hunting season from upland and waterfowl hunting with my dog to starting off the big game season, chasing antelope with the bow, going right into archery elk, into rifle deer, sheep, and then heading back home to Wisconsin, usually hunting whitetail in, in the tree stand. So put these through the ringer across the country in a lot of different seasons, and I feel like I have a good grasp on answering your guys' questions about the most practical use for these two good things. Right off the bat, here we have the Obsidian Foundry and the Corrugate Foundry. A lot of people did ask about the Catalyst Foundry. Short answer, we're not gonna talk about them yet. Um, one thing we can tell you is that is a late season specific pant. So anybody that's thinking that might be in the realm of an all season pant, it's really meant for colder temperatures. Later season, we'll cover more on that pant once they're released. Another one we heard quite often was what is the best all around hunting pant between these two? And that's a really subjective question. My go-to for all around hunting scenarios, different parts of the country, different times of year, is gonna be the Corgate Foundry. Reason being, it has the waterproof seat, the waterproof knees, it has that added ventilation of the hip sips, it has the removable knee pads. So just all around the features of the corrugate pant, in my opinion, make it applicable to a wider range of scenarios. Although I say this is my go-to for best all around, all season activity, a lot of guys I think are really gonna like the obsidian foundry because of the performance of that merino wool. Um, our obsidian pants are best selling pant of all time. It's a phenomenal pant. It's quiet, it's incredibly breathable. Um, it really helps control your body temperature and mitigate odor. If you like natural fibers and you rely on that performance in the field, this new Obsidian Foundry is going to be the best all around pant for you. A lot of folks ask, will the old pants be discontinued? And no, they're, they're not going to be. Uh, all those pants still have their benefits and their place and their practical applications. These pants offer features for the hunter that may demand specific performance benefits, you, you don't necessarily need these pants to be capable and comfortable in the field. A lot of our other pants still fit that bill. These are just an added option for the hunter that may demand a bit more. One big one that we heard throughout was how quiet are these pants. Uh, both pants are extremely quiet. Uh, these pants here are the actual two pairs of pants that I personally ran all last season. Um, archery hunting, rifle hunting. So definitely put them through the ringer in different stocking situations, moving through a lot of different terrain throughout the country. Uh, both are quiet enough to stock in close on game with the bow. I mean, no question about it. That said, if you're looking for the ultimate performance in terms of staying quiet and remaining silent, the Obsidian, Obsidian Foundry is gonna be your best bet, especially because of the merino wool fabric incorporated throughout this pant. Um, that natural fiber is going to do the best job of damping noise and making sure you're staying silent when moving in close on an animal. Uh, another unique one we heard quite commonly is, is, the, is will the corrugate foundry pant be good for saddle hunting? So for whitetail hunting. And on top of that, we got a lot of questions about will the corrugate foundry be available inspector? It is not going to be available inspector. It can be used for saddle hunting, but it is certainly not its intended purpose. Um, the knee pads would be nice for leaning into a tree from time to time, or if you're maneuvering in the saddle around the tree. Again, not what it's built for, but it can work. I would like to note that the Obsidian Foundry will be available in Spectre, and that's because this is an awesome whitetail pant. Incorporating Merino into this pant, in addition to the nylon reinforced knees, seat, and crotch gusset, makes this durable enough to handle briars in the Midwest and the East. Um, basically, it's going to be tough enough to handle what you're throwing at it when you're walking into the tree. 
And then you're gonna have the, have the added benefits of the quiet merino, the odor mitigating merino, and the silence of the pant for whitetail specific scenarios. Another really common question we heard um, from guys in the Midwest, back east, down south, they were expressing how they hunt whitetails in their home state and they take a western trip hunting elk, mule deer, etc. every year and they wanted to know which pant would be best to apply to both scenarios. In my opinion, if you're an avid serious whitetail hunter, the obsidian foundry is going to be a better option for you. Uh, as I mentioned, the merino element of this pant is going to offer a, a very quiet silent performance benefit when you're operating in the whitetail woods. It's going to offer the odor mitigation that the natural fiber of merino does. And now that we have the nylon panels and in the knee and in the, in the seat, it's going to be durable enough to handle those brushy, brushy walks into the stand. Turn around, you take your trip out west, that natural fiber is going to be capable at performing in early season conditions if you're chasing elk, antelope, etc. And if you layer appropriately, it's gonna be super capable in the late season too. If you're chasing mule deer, late season elk, rifle season, stuff like that. Got kind of a unique question, which paint is the best for upland and small game hunting? Uh, definitely the obsidian foundry, I would say. Um, this, this added nylon panel through the leg Combined with the natural fiber of the merino wool, it's, it's super durable, super breathable, it's super functional for a wide range of conditions you're gonna face, um, especially when you're being super active. That's my choice for, for alpha hunting for sure. Use it extensively in South Dakota chasing roosters and extensively in Idaho chasing shucker this year. Um, those benefits I just mentioned obviously help the performance of the pant. One big thing to mention too is this is a bit lighter pant than the Corgate Foundry. I just don't think a guy needs the reinforced knees and seat and hip vents and knee pads that the Foundry has for those upland specific pursuits. A number of folks asked if you will have to size up, like go up one size if you want to wear any of our long john options under these pants. The answer is no, not at all. These pants are built to accommodate layering. Any base layer you want to wear under these pants shouldn't warrant a size change. You should stick with the same size you would generally wear in the pant. On that note, people were curious about our move from um, basically a flex sizing in the waist, like a stretch waist that we currently incorporate in our styles of pants and how that differs from this new rigid waist fit in the Foundry collection. Uh, the, the rigid waist really lends itself to a more optimal fit for a wide range of body styles and certain shaped bodies. It's basically gonna optimize the fit for a lot of people as opposed to that flex fit where it accommodated a wide range of sizes but maybe wasn't totally dialed in for a number of folks. So the added rigidity in the waist is gonna optimize sizing for a lot of folks. It's also gonna add performance when you get that fit right, when you're, for instance, packing weight and you're gonna have a waist belt riding down on you. Having that optimized fit in the waist is gonna nail your pants to stay up more appropriately and offer added performance, especially on the pack out. We got a lot of folks wondering about the specific sizing offered in these two pant styles, um, especially the inseam. Both pants are gonna be offered in a 30, 32, 33, and 35 inch inseam. Um, that does depend on the waist size you, you demand. They will be offered in a 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44. So 30 to 44 in two inch inc increments is what they'll be offered in the waist. The inseam does vary dependent on the waist size you select. Last but not least, we hear you guys. We know you want to know when can you buy these things. And the answer is today. 
We finally have them in stock and available in all sizes. And we hope that this gives you the answers you're looking for. And we want you to know if you have other questions, always feel free to hit us up. Shoot us a DM on social, give our customer service team a call. We're all happy to answer your questions and help you get dialed into the pant best suited for your needs.